Okay, we're rocking. <laughs> All right, gang, welcome to my boot camp, my virtual boot camp. And uh, uh, I'm fired up to be here. It's Saturday morning, the snow, we probably got about three inches, four inches of snow. I know some of y'all in Minnesota, that's just a dusting for you. <laughs> we have the plows out and it's cold outside. Here in Dayton, Ohio, hopefully it's, hopefully it's warmer where you are. And uh, for those of you on the West Coast plugging in at 6 in the morning, I know it's early. Brandon, know it's early. I appreciate you being on. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to share something with you today that will help you get off the ground quick. I know we got people that don't even have their license yet. The reason why I asked you to be on, because I, I really, this is going to be so basic. Um, I, I've done very basic boot camps. So I'm not going to drill. I've got so many videos drilling down into the depths of the details that will drive you crazy. So the purpose of what I want to accomplish today is I want to get you the basic tools to get out there and start, you know, sloshing your way through the jungle. I'm going to give you a machete, okay, a machete, and we're going to teach you how to slosh through the jungle to make sales. Okay, that's, that's really the first part though. The bulldozer is gonna come later. Okay, we'll give you a bulldozer later. We're gonna give you a machete right now. Okay, so um, here's like the general agenda. I think, I think this will take three hours, I think. Okay, I mean, I've taught this stuff like till I'm green in the face. I mean, I remember, we used to do boot camps. It used to be like one to 5 p.m. And then we do a, a meeting in the evening from 7 to 10. Yeah, 1 to 5. This was back in the day. And uh, I could talk for four hours. I mean, straight. <laughs> but that's where I was drilling down, drilling down. So really don't want this to be a five-hour thing. Don't really want this to be a three-hour thing. So I'm going to go. I'm going to try to make this as short, as short and succinct as possible. So that's my objective. But if you can carve out... The next three hours, my, my, I'm going to attempt to finish up at noon, but we'll see how, you know, we dig into the, you know, the stuff we're going to do today. And so, like, what you should have ready is obviously you're on the Internet, if you're, like, watching me. And um, so being on the Internet, be on your computer. That's, okay, that's the basic thing. You may want to bring up the NALeads.com website. Um, just have it up and ready to go. Um, have your ATM ready. Uh, for those of you who are brand new, don't even know what ATM is. Don't worry about it. Okay. We, uh, we'll, you know, we'll show you where to download that. But um, right now, I just really want you to, um, like I said, this is being recorded. So you can always go back in the recording, play it back and stuff like that. So I just want you to catch the gist of it. For those of you that are already with us, you got your license, can get into the NALeads.com website, you know, log in, because we're gonna we're gonna do some just more, uh, I'm really gonna give you practical stuff, man. I'm not gonna go into like, you know, um, uh, uh, I'm not gonna go into the depths of really anything other than how to get you started quick. So like, here's the general agenda. <laughs> Here's one thing I believe, man. When I felt so empowered when I learned how to run quotes. <laughs> I mean, when I could run quotes on somebody, man, I felt like I was armed with a gun, man. I could like, I'm, I can quote you. I can quote you. I can quote you. I can quote you. You know, I felt like, man, I could do this thing because I could quote somebody a rate. You know, so we are going to. If there's anything in detail, I'm going to teach you how to dad gum run quotes. Okay, we're going to run quotes. We're going to go to where you can download quotes on your smartphone. Okay, so I would encourage you. Um, I'm going to concentrate on two products, Forcers and CFG. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to download the paper applications. I'm going to show you how to do an electronic application. So while I say this is general, it's going to drill down to very specific things that you need to get out there. So I will go to detail there, and so be ready. Be ready to watch and learn and to, and to do it on your laptop as well, okay? Um, I'm going to show you where the underwriting guidelines are so you can see if the height and weight works or if their medications work. So that's sort of the product side. I'm not going to drill down too much into 
what the products are and what they do and the riders and all that. That's not the purpose of this. I'm going to show you how to run a quote, okay, and then where to go to see if that client fits in it. So that's the product side. Yes, I'm starting off with products because I just, like I said, it's real important for you to know how to run a quote on somebody and on yourself. Okay, so I'm going to hit that, that topic hard. Then, and I don't know if that's going to take a half hour or 45 minutes. I'm thinking, okay, and I'm going to give you some breaks because I need a break sometimes. So I might take five minutes and then we can just go shake it out. Um, and then we're going to plow on. Sales, okay, so on the sales side, I'm going to show you to a simple phone call, okay, and then I'm going to show you a very stripped down version of, of my five step process on the ATM. I want, I want you to go through the ATM, I, want you to, I don't want you to get like all into the nitty gritty, I just want you to do some basic stuff. I'm going to teach you how to go through the ATM. I'm going to just show you in general how to put your ATM together. You know, it's pretty straightforward, I know. Um, and then I'm going to cover, like, when you go out there, don't dress in a suit, <laughs> okay? Dress in something laid back. I'll go over that. And then um, so on. So that's the sales side, all right? Very basic. You know, if you've seen my videos on the sales process, I mean, that's very detailed, which I, I eventually want you to do. But I want you to give the, the confidence that you actually go through the ATM. And I'll give you enough so that you can close at least, you know, half the sales that you sit on. Then I'm going to um, cover recruiting, just recruiting basics so that you can start with people that you know and, and just a simple approach on them and then leads, just real briefly on leads. And then I think that's it, <laughs> I think. And then I will open it up for questions. So if you have questions, I'll open it up for questions. So I'm going to choreograph this where stuff on the screen that you will see will be projected and I've got this really cool mirroring app <laughs> so I can show you on my iPhone how to run quotes okay so it's going to be or iPad you can use your iPad you can use your computer but your smartphone so you, man I think the very basic thing you need is a smartphone <laughs> if you don't got a smartphone you got one of those old flip phones man I think you're hurting yourself <laughs> so I would encourage you to get a smartphone because it's so much easier these days so um, so let's get cracking let's show you how to download to the um, the quoting tools okay so I'm gonna go into um, the mirror app here so let me coordinate <laughs> coordinate this all right so here is <laughs> here's my phone Okay, so th this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to see all the junk I have on my phone. Okay, we're going to go to Alliance. Oops. Alliance. <laughs> Alliance quoting dot com. All right, so let me see if I can. I know that I can coordinate it that well. All right, so you, hopefully you can hear me. Alliancequoting.com. And you go to Alliancequoting.com, and this has all your download tools for all the quoting tools. This is what, probably one of the most valuable um, valuable assets to the NAA uh, or to the Alliance um, sales force, the quoting tools. So you go in here and you can download all of them to your phone, Forcers, Mutual of Omaha, National Guardian, Phoenix, so on, AIG. And then here's probably one of the most important thing is the resources. So you got bill charts, medication list, final expense underwriting grid, mortgage term underwriting grid, annuity grid, 
product pocket guide diabetes ratings. Okay, this is, will help you determine if someone can fit into a product. Okay, but right now, all I really want you to do is I want you to go and download on your smartphone. Let's download CFG. Okay, now the hinky thing with CFG is if you have an iPhone, the um, the uh, I want to point out this um, the uh, the activation codes here. So you, these are the activation codes when you open up the app for the first time on your smartphone. Okay, now notice. You've got the final expense, that's what FE stands for, and the term. Now, the term product on your iPhone is something that you have to email them for the download link. I don't know why that is, but it's sort of the frustration. I think Android, you actually can download it from the Google Apps site, but the iPhone's a little bit different. Um, so let me show you what happens when you click on the iPhone for the term product. So click on the iPhone. Okay, so notice that it pulls up the email to safeshield.calc at fcfglife.com. And then subject, please send download link, please send me a link. So what they're going to do is they're going to send you the link for the, for the CFG. So, you know, if you, so don't get frustrated. I'm going to show you how to run quotes on it anyway if you can't download it, okay? Um, the mobile app for CFG on the iPhone, you click on that and then open on the App Store, yes. And then since I already have it downloaded, just I just click on open. Okay. So I already have that download on my, that's why it says open, but it, otherwise it would say get because it doesn't cost anything. Okay, so that's CFG. Um, and then Forrester's. Forrester's is pretty easy. The activation code that you see for Forrester's is if you're on the um, laptop and you download the um, Foresight software on your laptop. It's something I do recommend. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it here, the desktop software, but if you're on your desktop, I want you to you definitely need to download it. Um, oh man, you know, maybe I need to do that. Um, but let's just do the mobile quotes. So the mobile quotes, if you click on mobile quotes, it is actually a website. Okay. It's foresterscalculator.com. So really, what you want to do is you want to save this on your home page, on your, on your phone. So how you do that, if you've got an iPhone, is you click on that little box with an arrow, and then add to home screen. So you see that little plus, add to home screen. So when you, when you press on that, it'll add it to your home screen. Okay, and then you can, when you pull up your screen on your iPhone, it'll show up. I already have it, but I want you to do that. Okay, and then it has all the products that we write with them. It even has resources, which is cool. So it's got the term, whole life, and UL underwriting guides, plan right underwriting, leg your legacy underwriting guide, um, needs analysis, which you don't really use that much, but the resources here are awesome. So this is actually just really a web page. Okay, so, um, so, that, so that's, it takes you into your browser on your phone. All right, so, so once you have that access, I want you to have access to that. So notice I've got the, the term right here for CFG, okay? So I've got the final expense right there. Okay, and it's going to ask you for the activation code. Remember, you can find your activation code on the Alliance Quoting Dot com. So see the activation codes are right there. Alliance and then CFGSIT for the term. And remember FE is the final expense. So I'm going to focus on these two. Okay, so let's have some fun with quoting tools. 
I know, man. Get your coffee out. <laughs> but I tell you what, man, I was, when I, uh, and that is my kitty cat right there. That's Coco. <laughs> Oh man, I yeah, you can tell I already have my coffee. I mean, I'm still having it. <laughs> okay, so CFG, let's learn. Let's show you how to do a CFG SIT that simplified issue term product. This is what you would do on mortgage protection. Okay, um, a mortgage protection client typically, or it could be a marriage lead. Okay, so it could be a marriage client. All right. Okay, so pick your state, any state that you're in. I'm going to do Ohio because I'm in Ohio, the Buckeye State. And if you saw the Buckeyes win, it was pretty ugly. <laughs> the second half sucked. But anyway, uh, since CFG um, is a attained age product, um, I just like to type the age in. But if you, want, if you have trouble figuring out the age, you can put the birth date. Okay. Either way, so let's say you're writing this on a, um, let's say 45 year old, just like it says. Now notice it says next to the age, allowable age. This is what's beautiful about this is it tells you that you can write 18 to 65. And the reason why it says that, okay, is because you chose 15 year. Okay, now notice if I choose 30 year term and I go up in the, Thing. It says allowable age 18 to 55. So what's great about the quoting tools is it won't really let you quote something that you can't quote on someone. This is like the age, age thing, like the issue age thing. So like uh, a 45-year-old or a, uh, uh, the term product you can write between 18 and 55 for the 30-year term, okay? The 20-year term is 60, the max age is 60, 18 to 60. Okay, if you do 15, the allowable age is 65. So you notice the shorter the term, the older the age that you can write it, okay? But Alex, what if they're 17 years old or what if they're 66 for a 15 year term? It's like, okay, we gotta find another product for them. Okay, typically we'll do probably a final expense. But I, let's just write a, let's just run a quote. I want you to do it on yourself. So I want you to put your age in there. All right. Okay. Then this is the tobacco, non-tobacco. So let's just choose non-tobacco. Tobacco rates are typically more expensive, and um, sometimes tobacco rates will affect how much term they can, how long a term they can get. So let's go non-tobacco. Notice. On a 15-year term, there's no the ROP return of premium is grayed out. What is return of premium? What's cool about CFG is they have two options for return of premium: a 50% return of premium and a and 100% return of premium. What is return of premium? A simply return of premium is it pays them back either 100% of their premiums they paid into it at the end of the term if they're still alive or 50% return of premium is 50% of what they paid into it, they get back. So this is an, a, very, a very effective rider if you're trying to sell value to someone, okay, and the, where they're going to want to keep their policy. So notice, for a 45-year-old, if we pick the 20-year, the return of premiums op options pop up. So you choose 50% or 100%. Okay, but if it's grayed out, maybe you can't do it. So notice on 20 year you can, and obviously on 30 year you can. So let's just run a rate on a 30 year non return of premium for the 45 year old not tobacco. And we always like to do monthly EFT, okay, monthly um, bank draft. Now sometimes your clients won't like to do bank draft, um, but the only way that <coughs> they'll ask if, it's <coughs> if they want to do monthly billing. Hey, can't we just have this build? They won't do monthly billing, okay? I always sell monthly EFT because it's the strongest form of persistency. Your clients, if they're quarterly, that's the higher rate of cancellation. So monthly, they're going to keep it if it's coming out of their account. But you have semi-annual and annual. 
Now, the thing about annual, if they want to pay annually, the only time I ever see anyone wanting to do that is if they got a tax return back. <laughs> now, annual, you get all your commission up front, which is cool. But um, let's just pick monthly EFT. And so you can choose to calculate rates by face amount or how much can they afford. All right, so I like to do face amount just because that's normally what it is. So let's say they've got a $100,000 mortgage. Yeah, I know you people in California are going, man, who has a $100,000 mortgage anymore? <laughs> All right, and then you could choose an accidental rider. So if they die in an accident, it'll double that amount of insurance. The waiver premium um, waives their premium of their policy if they become disabled. And if they're permanently disabled, waste of premium on their policy for the rest of their term of the policy. The child rider, you can add their children in numbers of units. And you can see here, 15 days through 18 years of age, you can get them covered. Um, five units is 5,000. Six units is 6,000 of insurance, all the way up to 15 units, which is 15,000 child rider. Okay. I always like doing child rider because it's just one premium flat rate premium increase for if they have 12 kids or one child all right and then disability income rider i know i wasn't going to go into product but um this is a really good one of all the companies that do disability cfg probably has the best disability in terms of features but it's the hardest one to get issued so you know it kind of depends on their you check the underwriting guide on occupation but you put their monthly gross income in there and then it tells you what benefit amount. So let's say their monthly gross income is 5,000. Um, then you can put benefit amount, say their mortgage is 1250. And then you click if at work, they're covered by workman's comp or not, because that makes a difference too. Um, so you can play with those rates, but let's not put it on there. Let's just do a stripped down $100,000 policy. Okay, so notice at the top, the premium rate is like right there. So it automatically calculates the premium rate, 6603 a month for a 45 year old for a 30 year non-return of premium. Okay, so let's change this to a 50% return of premium. And let's see how much the rate goes up. So it goes up to 8450 a month to get 50% return of premium. So what's cool about this is that if you calculate the increase from 6603, to 84.50, which is about 18 bucks, 66. Yeah, let's say it's 18 dollars. If you calculate that increase of 18 bucks, um, and then multiply that by the um, number of months, uh, 360 months, um, to get back the entire 88, 84.50 times 360 months. Um, that's a return on investment, actually. So that's a positive return on investment. So the nerdy accountant would all understand this. But what's cool is it's basically like paying, you know, half price for their insurance. All right. If you do 100% return of premium, it goes to 113.58. So those are viable options for them, right? So you can do return of premium or non-return of premium. You see the difference in price. You can add the actual death benefit. It goes up 75.43 for 66, so like nine bucks. The waiver premium, 60, so that's like nine bucks for the waiver premium. Let's add a child rider. I like to get 15,000 for children. So it bumps it up just a few bucks, like 66 to 73. That's what, seven, seven bucks? And it covers every child they have, all right, that they're legal guardians for. And you actually put the children on the app, and then if they add more children, you can add them on. So if they have one child, you can add on their second, third, fourth child, and it doesn't increase the price. It's the one flat rate. So I always like to get the children covered, okay? Now, the disability income rider, um, adds quite a bit. So let's say um, benefit amount. There's like there's a maximum two on benefit amount. You can get I think it says there allowable amount two fifty to fifteen hundred. 
let's do 1500. Let's say they are covered by workman's comp. So notice it goes to up 100 bucks a month. So from 66 to 100 for the disability benefit of 1500. All right. And some clients may want to do that. Right. They, but it takes, there's a lot more to determine whether or not they can get it. So, so how do I know I could put it on there? Well, there's the underwriting. Um, yeah, you have to go to the um, CFG underwriting guide. Forrester's actually has an underwriting guide, but you'd have to go to the CFG underwriting guide to find out. So, whatever. All right. Um, CFG. So that's how you run a rate. Like that. That's pretty easy, right? <laughs> so that's the CFG term product. Um, let's go through the Forrester's term product. So I want to contrast this with how to run a rate on Forrester's. So let's uh, pick up Forrester's. So the Forrester's um, equivalent product is called Strong Foundation. That's their term product. So this is how they're, and again, it's a, it's a web, it puts you in their browser. So it is a web-based application. So, um, you know, you're, you're going to have to be on your phone to do this or iPad that has enabled for Wi-Fi or phone. So let's do go through this. So we'd like to do simplified issue. Okay. Fully underwritten means they do a, a blood and urine test. We don't like blood and urine tests because we don't get that issued. So let's stay with simplified issue. Um, state, let's pick Ohio. Now, there's some states not that they're not in. Like, I don't think Forcers is in, well, maybe it is in Mississippi. Yeah, it is in Mississippi. There, I, I think Forcers, well, okay. It, let's just say it's in your state. <laughs> I think it's in most states. Okay. Ohio. Now this is age last, so it's attained age. So let's do that 45 year old, just at, you know, just as a form of um, comparison. Let's go male, okay, male with a tail. No, just male, <laughs> not smoker. So you got the smoker, not smoker. Let's choose not smoker. And let's do 100,000, whoops, what did I do? Did the rate already, don't wanna do that. Uh, Got to go back again. Ohio. By the way, don't do this for the first time in front of a client. <laughs> That's why we're doing it now. So you guys know how to do it before you get in front of a client. It's amazing me how come some agents, male non-smoker, 100,000. They do everything for the first time in front of a client. How insane is that? That's like trying to go on stage in a play for the first time not knowing your lines. Imagine what nightmare that would be. Again, you can do it by premium amount. So if the client says, well, all I have is 100 bucks a month I could, or 50 bucks a month, you can calculate the face value the other way. And then all these little boxes are the riders. So you got the accidental death rider. That's what ADR stands for. The waiver of premium rider. That's what WP stands for. The disability income rider is DIR. Now, Forrester's disability is an accident-only disability, where CFG is a disability that will cover them, whether it's an accident or, or sickness. Um, so this, the, the Forrester's one's cheaper because it's accident-only, but you can get it, most, most people covered on it. And then CTR is a children's term rider, all right? But we're just going to keep the strip down, 100,000 quote. So click on Get Quote. And then you have, what's cool is you have all the different years that are available. So you got a 10-year term, 36.93 a month, 15-year, 37.89.20, 24 years, 53.64, and then you got 30 years. So Forrester's, I believe, is the only one that has a 25-year increment, 
which could make a difference with your client. But notice, 30 years, 66.59. Interesting how that is very close to CFG's 66 bucks, right? And then you can email the quote, which we don't do. Okay, so don't waste your time doing that. Okay, so that's so let's add some riders, and you can kind of see. So to go back, I just click on the bottom left, go back, and um, all the information is still there. So let's add the accidental death rider, which doubles the death benefit if they die in an accident. And so you can see 30 years, it went from 66 to 74, 47. So it's really close to CFG. So that's why I don't get, remember, man, if you're brand new, like seriously, do not, do not get into the mode of trying to shop for the cheapest because the cheapest is not always the best. It, that Don't do that. CFG and Forcer are very close. Like this is not the game of, I'm going to get you the best price out of all the, it's like, dude, seriously, you got to get them the right product that will cover their health situation. And then what, what I found agents gravitate, because it's virtually, there's not too many, it maybe make a dollar, two dollar difference between companies. So I don't really get, I'm not that, I'm not going to tell them, you know, I'm going to find you the cheapest rate. I'm going to find you the best product that will cover you and will have, you know, really, that's with a strong company. So if you're brand new, that is not our, that is not our thing to, crap, I hate spilling coffee on me. <laughs> All right, so that's not the, that's not the game here. Okay, so let's continue on. <laughs> oh, if you can only see me. All right, so let's um, go back. We can actually hit return. And then you can add the waiver premium, get quote. Again, it adds about the same. Okay, um, disability income rider, get quote. I think it just automatically calculates how much they can get. So notice at the top it says 100,000 face, disability income rider 1,500. So it automatically goes to 1.5% of the death benefit which is the maximum, and I think the maximum total, um, if you did like a million dollar policy, the max they'll give them is 2,500, I think is the maximum. And then it shows a price there, 78.93. So notice that the CFG disability brought it up to about 100 bucks a month. And again, the reason why that is, is that um, it's, it handles any kind of disability, whether it's accident or illness. Um, that could be a back injury or whatever, but Forrester's is accident only. So however they got disabled, they'll cover um, if it's an accident, <laughs> okay, if it's derived by an accident, whether on the job, off the job. So it's still good disability. It just isn't as good as CFT, which is why it doesn't cost as much. All right, it's kind of like accidental death. Um, so let's go child rider. Again, I love just adding children on there. So like, I don't even give that a, as a choice. I mean, if they have kids, I automatically put it on there. And you can choose up to 25,000. So I think this is this product probably has the most that you can get a child covered for, but let's just pick 15,000. All right. So 15,000 children's term rider get quote <laughs> Seventy four oh eight. So again, it's about the same price as CFG, and typically the child can get covered up to age I think twenty five. Then at twenty five, they can convert that to their own policy. And um, for Foresters and CFG, I believe you can they can uh, convert it up to five times the death benefit with no evidence of insurability. In other words, they've got to prove insurability. So I always like adding the child rider on there um, because if they have children, it doesn't add that much more. And they, they tend to keep the policy if they know that it does more for them than just cover themselves. It also covers their kids. So it's a, it's a way of, of adding to your placement of persistency numbers, which will, will earn you more money, okay? So that's how you do Foresters. It's pretty straightforward. Um, really great product. Has all the 
you know, additional benefits and so on. So that rocks, man. So that's Forsters. Okay, so that's if you want to do a term, uh, simplified issue term. So let's go to how you do the whole life. Okay, so sometimes you get someone who just wants to do a final expense, you know. So you got to learn how to do the whole life quotes. And more of the same, okay? So let's go through that. So let's go through, well, this mirror technology is pretty cool. So CFG final expense. Now the CFG final expense, I believe you can get right off the um, quoting page and it'll download either Google Apps if you're on an Android or iPhone app. I don't know why it's different, why the SIT product's different the uh, simplified issue term. So this is the whole life product. Um, so this is really cool because it kind of is a self underwriting product. The thing, yeah, I got to go into product a little bit just so you understand why the CFG is different. Okay. But the client, the client info on um, CFG is important. Uh, because it'll allow you to quote the four different rate. There are four different rate levels for um, CFG, right? So uh, depending on how they answer the, the application, what I find is they just don't know which one to quote. So this is super easy. Like when, we, when you're with a client, you don't have to go through the application first. You just have to type in their medications. So this is, this is kind of cool. Okay, so you can do their birth date. Let's do age. So let's say, usually you're writing an older person. So let's say they're like 65 years old. And um, let's choose Ohio, because I'm in Ohio. And let's take a female. All right, let's do the female. And then you got to put the height and weight. So just, you know, let's say she's five foot, three inches, and she's um, 195. <laughs> Have you had a medical consultation within five years? Tell me who hasn't, right? So they probably have. Okay, so let's kind of step through this. So click on next. You click on next. So, so this is where, okay, where agents, if they just kind of go through this without knowing, this is where it gets confused because I was. It's like, I don't get this, man. What is this? And what it is, is you type in their medications. It's beautiful, man. Okay, so let's say, they're on Losartan for high blood pressure. So you go L-O-S-A-R. Okay, so notice that, that these options show up. So you got Losartan potassium, Losartan potassium, hydrochlorothorazide, which is a water pill. So you just choose that. Okay, and then you type in the next medication. So let's say it's... Um, What's another medication? Let's just say it's a metformin for diabetes. Met for. So notice, metformin, all the different met, met whatever products. So let's do, let's say it's a metformin HCL. Okay. Now notice every time I'm picking a medication, all four products at the bottom are still green, which means I can still quote Elite. So Elite is the best rated product. Select is the next best rating for health. Advantage is the next one. Security. So you always want to do the leftmost product if you can do it, because then it tells it tells we, you know that's the quote that we can reasonably assume that they can get. Okay, nothing's ever because you're only going by what they're telling you. They might have another medication that will decline them. So let's type in one of those. <laughs> Okay, so lithium. That's a great channel, by the way, on um, Sirius XM. Lithium. Lithium. Whoa. Really? What is the yellow? Um, let's do nitro. <laughs> I wonder if my thing is updated. Nitro. Uh, 
Uh, so, so these question marks. Okay, so notice when I when I chose that particular nitro, there's only two products that there. There's the greater products, advantage and security. So it went red on me. So, so that means I can only quote those two products. So you click on next, and when I click on next, I could do classic advantage or classic security. Okay, which are great to benefit. So that gives you an example of products that they aren't able to qualify for. So let's just say, I can't believe lithium is, allows me to do lithium, okay? Um, okay, so let's do, let's pick Elite because it's the best one to the left. So you click on Elite. And they already have things already put in there. So it shows a 2,500 face value. So let's do 15,000. So you let's type in 15,000. Done. Okay, the mode is monthly, quarterly, semi-annual, annual. Remember, monthly is the EFT situation, which I said is better. And then you got the uh, no tobacco, tobacco, so let's do non-tobacco. No accidental death benefit or accidental death benefit, let's just choose no. You can add a child rider. Um, because there's 65, chances are their, child's, ch their children are already grown up. So you can see how the, the, uh, the rate's effective. So 6102 a month for 15,000. Okay, now if we choose a premium, a lot of times the older folks say, well, all I can afford is $50 a month. Okay, well, let's do the premium mode and let's see how much face value they can get. So 50 bucks a month will get her 12,125. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy, man. But this is really, really cool. Okay, so now this POS underwriting, I haven't tried this yet, but apparently, <laughs> you can have this download into the electronic application. It's really cool. So notice that it allows you to log in, and all of a sudden you're filling out electronic application on your client because it, it transfers all the information in there. So anyway, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you how to do one, but... That's CFG, man. That's the CFG final expense. And it's important to have them pull out their wicker basket of, of uh, medication so you can type all that in there to see what you can quote. So you really don't have to go through the application because the application will guide you to that. Is there another channel? Pop, what is this? Lithium. <laughs> Oh, dude, you crack me up. <laughs> yeah, lithium does rock. <laughs> okay, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you don't have XM, serious XM. <laughs> it, it is kind of funky, the station. Um, good old rock, alternative rock. Okay, so let's do Forrester's um, whole life. I'm getting a little punchy here. Um, okay. Like I said, man, you feel empowered. Once you know how to run quotes, you're going to feel empowered, man. And if you missed how to download these, um, you can catch it on the playback. This is being recorded right now. Okay, so the whole live version in Foresters is Plan Right. So you click on Plan Right. Now, they're, they're not as nifty. You really kind of have to know what your client's dealing with to know what version of this product you can write them. But let's just, you know, kind of go with the same Ohio age last birthday, um, 65, male, um, I think we chose female before, female, okay, not tobacco and then face mount 15,000. And then the only rider here is an actual death benefit rider. So notice on the CFG, you can add children on there, which is kind of interesting. You can put a child rider for 65 year old, but you can't on Forrester. So I didn't even know that. So then get quote.
And so notice 15,000 face. Okay, level benefit is 6262. Graded is 9518 and modified is 9671. Um, so how do you know which one to quote them? Well, you're really going to have to go through the application with Forrester's. The Forrester's application for final expense will go through different parts which will determine what your client will qualify for as far as rate. So there's like a Part A, Part B, Part C. Um, so, so I recommend you all like read the application um, to uh, determine what rate. I'm not going <laughs> to... I may go into it. I, I don't know. Anyway, so that is that. If you got a question, let me know um, on the chat line. Let me know if you've got any questions. But that's pretty straightforward, man. That's all you really got to do with plan right. Now, remember, plan right and CFG require a point of sale interview. Okay, so you got to call in after you fill the application out for an interview on CFG, Dignified Choice, and, and Plan Right. Um, and um, so there you go. So um, how you do that, the phone numbers are on the application. Uh, so anyway, there you go. So that's how you run rates. Okay, so what else is on the agenda? So any question on running rates at all? Does anyone... Like, get on the chat line. I might unmute, but it might be loud. All participants are unmuted. Any? <laughs> I love hearing kids. Any questions on that? Or you can hit me up on the chat. Okay. All participants are muted, and they can unmute themselves. Okay, so let's go over... Um, okay, so let's kind of click through the um, the Alliance quoting because I want to show you like some of these tools that are on here. Um, all right, so let's create. This is powerful website. Remember, you go on AllianceQuoting.com, and then here's the different charts. So, like, if you're wondering whether or not the height and weight can fit, you just click on Build Charts. And then you got the build charts for Forrester's um, term product. You got the build chart for CFG Safe Shield term product. You got the build chart for Mutual of Omaha, their term products. You got Term Life Express, GUL, DI Rider, et cetera. So there's height and weights even for the riders. And then um, Phoenix Safe Harbor. I'm going to talk about Baltimore. Final expense products. Excuse me. So this is the Forrester's plan right. Max weight. So sometimes the weight will determine if it's graded or modified or level benefit. Mutual of Omaha. This is all theirs. Um, actually, yeah. Okay, Mutual of Omaha says living problem, the same chart as for term products. Monumental final expense is Transamerica. So, <laughs> if anything, this is Transamerica. So, CFG, Dignified Choice, we just went over that. So, 25 to 44, 45 and up. All right, so this is the build chart. Let's go back. Medication list. <laughs> it's a larger file, <laughs> trust me. If you got any questions on medications on your client, this you go to the medication list to determine if the medication's on there. Now, remember the CFG final expense software, you can actually type it in. That'll tell you. But this will tell you, like, for example, Forrester Strong Foundation term, these medications, like Abilify is an antipsychotic, and it's a decline for the non-medical. Okay, so it shows you all the declinable medications. Okay, this one is for um, Mutual of Omaha. Their uh, Term Life Express declinable medications. So if you have any question on medications, it's usually in here, and that'll tell you what's up for both um, final expense and for the term. So that's pretty valuable. Final expense underwriting grid. 
Um, for those of you that are brand new to underwriting, okay, it says add to your home screen. So this is a good one to add to your home screen, by the way. So if you if your client is has an amputation, and this is for final expense, it tells you what what products will decline it, and it'll decline if ever due to a disease, CFG so dignified choice. So if they got an amputation because they got blown their leg blown off in the war, um, they're okay with that. But if it's due to disease, um, it could be um, uh, uh, amputation due to diabetes, which is the, probably the more popular one, um, then it's a decline. And you can see decline if or forcers plan right due to complications of disease, all right? And then all the other final spread. Let's say your client had cystic fibrosis. Well, it tells you decline if, decline if. Wow, CFG dignified choice for the graded plan is okay for plan right. Wow. <laughs> and then decline if, decline if. So notice the difference in underwriting depending on their situation. Okay, so this section is final expense, the Part A questions. Part B questions, it tells you convicted of a felony. It tells you which is okay, which is decline if. Okay, so, that, so all your underwriting is at the, you know, right here. You can do the mortgage term underwriting. Same thing. You can go through, figure it out. It's pretty cool. Um, product pocket guide. Product pocket guide. <laughs> mortgage term. Mutual uh, CFG safe shield. It gives you kind of the, the parameters, 15, 20, 30 year level term, age 18 to 65. But remember, you know, if they're older, they can only maybe qualify for 15 years. Okay, so there's, it's not comprehensive until you actually do a quote. This just gives you kind of, you know, general features and benefits, all right? So this is a pretty valuable tool um, with which to quote your client, okay? So that is how you run quotes and getting some underwriting information on CFG enforcers, all right? I would recommend that you write an app on yourself to help you figure out this process. <laughs> the other thing about writing an app on yourself, okay, is that you will have a product that you can show your client should they ask you, what did you get, Mr. Smith? <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so let's talk about that. You need to write an app on yourself so you can have a policy to show your client. At the end of the ATM, one of the most important things you can do for placement and persistency is, um, and I'll, I'll teach this later, but it's the last part of the, after you got everything all said and done, say, by the way, Joe and Mary, um, let me show you what your policy is going to look like when, when you, if we get it issued. I always say if. If we get it issued, this is what your policy is going to look like. I pull my policy out and I flip through it with them. Now notice, you have your name on it. You have your protecting your family with the same product, not with the same product you're covering them with, but it shows that you believe in insurance because you have your policy for your family. So you need, that's the first thing I did when I got a license, man, is I brought a policy on myself because I needed to believe that this is a great business, this is a great product, this idea of life insurance is important to me. Like if you can't get overcome your own objections, to getting your own policy, then how are you going to overcome objections from clients out there? And I think you need to have our product. It's like if you're a Coke employee, you're going to have Coke in your refrigerator, right? You better, because if they find Pepsi, you're fired. Quote Coke, you know, Coke doesn't play around. You know what I mean? Just like you shouldn't think like that about our, you should think the same way about our business. That if you're representing our price, you should have one of our products. I don't care if you got that, you know, um, XYZ company product 10 years ago. You know, I'm not telling you to get rid of that, but what I am telling you is buy one for your family, for yourself. The worst thing, and I've heard this happen, is we had an agent that got killed. 
didn't have a lick of life insurance on his family. The dadgum guy is in our business and he died and didn't have insurance. It's like, please, please. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to show you how to do a, an electronic application. Okay. I'm in favor of electronic applications. Okay. You need to learn how to do paper applications too, but electronic applications totally rock, man. And so I'm going to show you how to do a CFG electronic application. All right. And, um, okay. So let's get that going. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to log in to NAAleads.com because you access the electronic applications through the NAAleads.com website. You do not access applications directly from the insurance carrier website. Otherwise, you won't get promotion credit. It won't count towards a trip, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So to access the electronic application for CFT, you go to Carriers, you go to Columbian Financial Group. Okay, and by the way, this is like the go-to page for all the training stuff on here for the paper applications for CFG. You can see all that stuff here. But let's let's get an electronic application done. So like seriously, follow me here and put your information so you can write it on yourself. So let's do um, SafeShield E app. Log in. Wow, it is slow today. Okay, so check this out. This is what could happen with your client too. <laughs> All right, you'll be sitting in front of your client and it will lag. So you got to be good at creating the conversation with them or, or fall back to doing a paper application. Okay, because this is like real world stuff that could happen. Yay, we are on. Okay, so you click on begin application. Okay, so agent account, Alex Avian. All right, so this is, okay, just choose the one that does not say all USA. If you do all USA, that means you're going to do the, um, well, I mean, choose which one you want. So if you just choose the one with your name on it, you're going to get your full um, upfront commission advanced. If you choose Alliance Life USA, All USA, you're going to get the renewal program. So that means you're going to get like instead of 55% commission, you'll get a 28% commission, but you get 5.5% on the annual premium every year for the life of the policy. So if they do a 30-year policy, you can get 5.5% of the annual premium for 30 years. So that's how you can choose between All USA to get the renewals and a lower upfront, or if you get all upfront and no renewals, that's where you pick this one, okay? And you can't change it. Like, if you write it like it, you know, one way or the other, you can't change it to the other, okay? So it's just, it's permanent. So let's just do that one. Okay, state, Ohio, product, safe shield term, insured name, Must have hit a return. Alex. Oh, what if it only said session shield term V1? Yeah, that's the one you want to use because that's what showed up on mine, Josh. Um, there is like only one version. There, I don't know if there's any other versions, but just use V1. Alex Avian, no suffix, and then click continue. All right, laggy, laggy, laggy. <laughs> okay, electronic signature. All parties understand that we, we will be able to electronically sign the application to indicate acceptance of the terms and that our electronic signatures will be legally binding just as if we had signed the paper versions using pen and ink. So seriously, you need to read that to your clients. They understand what's gonna happen at the end of this process is that when you click, click, click on the e-app, that that binds them to their desire to apply for life insurance. Doesn't, okay, it doesn't bind them to anything other than 
this application represents their desire to apply for life insurance, right? And, and I'll just summarize it for them, you know. So we click there, we get there, OK, hit continue. OK, so Social Security number. Obviously, I'm not going to put my real one, but I'm going to go 111. But yeah, you put your real one. <laughs> I'm a male. I was born in Morocco. <laughs> Seriously, I was. So I'll put Morocco. Date of birth. Um, 26, 1960. So now you know my date of birth. You can send me a birthday card. Requested effective date. Must be 1 through the 28th. Um, if I'm writing this on the client, like today is the 30th. Uh, so I'm going to put today. I want effective today, 1230, 2017. Age automatically calculates that I'm 57. I know I don't look 57. <laughs> My address. Okay, so. And it does take this long. <laughs> okay, notice we are unable to offer coverage if you're in um, Alaska, Alabama, or Mississippi. So just be cognizant if you're in those states. Seven. Email. Five foot, five foot nine. Always round up. Always round up. They say they're five foot three and a half. I always round up to five foot four because the height and weight tables are more favorable to people that are taller than shorter. So always round up. That's just a hint. Okay. 195. I wish. <laughs> Uh, driver's license. Yeah, you got to select this out, man. This is uh, the EAP. The EAP is awesome because it gets issued quickly. Um, and a 24-7 RU. <laughs> That's Andy's tail number to his plane. But by the way, occupation life insurance mogul income. I'm just going to put 75,000. I mean, it's just like what a normal person. Total household income, 75,000. It's more like 575,000. Actually, this year will be over a million this year, 2018. Not tobacco. All right, so it says yellow background. Everything's filled out in the yellow background. So I'm good to save and move forward to the next page. October 5th, 68. Golly, you're so young. Oh, guys, <laughs> you're not even 50 yet, Joe. <laughs> oh, man, 28th. See, this is good because it, it automatically corrects the problem. So the 28th because that's a draft date. So that's got to be in the future. Shoot. So let's say 0101-2018 next week. All right. 
see if it'll, see that's what's beautiful about this is it won't let you make a mistake on the app which you can make a ton of mistakes on paper apps and then you are in a constant battle trying to get the right information to the company so the good news is it won't let you make a mistake on an app the bad news is it could take forever to get through you got to make sure your pop-up blocker is off too all right we'll get to the next one the owner Let's say the owner is me. I own the policy. But if it's someone else paying for the policy, then you would put their name in there. Okay. Okay, beneficiary. So that'd be Virginia E. Relationship, a wife, percentage, 100. Um, I mean, look, it's not yellow, so you can put all this stuff in later. I mean, I'll put it in later. Contingent, this is where you put your contingent. Since it's not yellow, you don't need it, but I, you know, I always like to put maybe someone else in there, okay? So just for the sake of moving forward. All right, plan of insurance. We did, um, so this shows what I'm eligible for. So like 15 year, because I'm, um, because I'm 57, I can go 20 or 15 year. I can do non-return of premium. So let's just do 20 year, 50% return of premium, amount of insurance. Let's do 100,000, 100,000. Um, I'm going to put accidental death on there. All right. Okay, so this I think will actually calculate the premium for you. But you know, you need to have the client decide what the premium is first, and then it'll automatically double check your numbers. So when you go back, um, okay. So are all proposed insurers citizen? Yes, I'm a citizen. Currently employed? Yes. Driver's license? Yes. Past three years? Okay, so been on probation, etc. These we just start answering all these questions. No, been convicted of three or more moving about. Okay, so you really got to go through this. SIT is um, simplified issue term. That's the name of the product. You answer if you answer yes, you got to explain it. Um, any form of tobacco? No. Section B. Member of the medical profession having a HIV AIDS? No. Past five years, received or been recommended to receive bone marrow transplant? No. Um, bedridden? No. Walker, etc. No. Weight loss? I wish. No. Hang gliding, cliff diving. Hey man, hiring agents is enough uh, stress for me. <laughs> it's enough of an adrenaline rush for me. Not flown as a student pilot. Section C, three years, been declined, rated, postponed insurance, no. Use cocaine, narcotics, no. Healthcare, alcohol, drug abuse, no. Um, diagnosis uh, for diabetes, et cetera, et cetera, all those other conditions, no. Past 10 years, been diagnosed for cancer, no. Stroke, heart attack, TIA, no. Systemic lupus, etc. no. Sarcoidosis, schizophrenia, and all those mental disorders. Any heart disorders, no. Um, hold on, let me read that one. Okay, no. Emphysema. You got to really read this to your client. Like, read it through all the way and let them tell you yes or no. I mean, don't lie on this, please. Okay. A wedding diagnosis for any um, test. 
Okay, prescribed medication. Okay, so yes. So here, you would, if I put yes for medication, I gotta put the medication. So question number six, I would put in, Medication name, actually I am on Lilsartan for blood pressure, um, date last taken, uh, I, spelled, I don't know if I spelled that wrong or not, date last taken was um, 12 slash 30, I just took it 2017, new address of physician, okay, so let's just say I filled all that stuff out, durations, I'm not replacing. Oh yeah, yes. And then no, I'm not replacing. I have insurance. I've got a lot of insurance. All right, man, hang in with me. This, this process does take longer with the client, but it's so much better. So owner or agent, Okay, signing location, I'm in Dayton, Ohio. By the way, you can go back to correct anything. You just click on the link to your left. But do you see why this is important to go? So you click on these links to go back if you need to correct anything. So this is the payment information. Cash with application, immediate draft or ongoing EFT. That's the one you want to do. Um, uh, oh yeah, by the way, that future date, um, you can leave that blank, I believe, and then they'll just draft it right away. So I'm always big on drafting it right now. Monthly, 202.25, initial draft amount, 202. Remember, it's yellow, so you got to fill it in. Bank routing number. Okay, this is where you do all the routing numbers, and, you know, 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's probably going to give me that that's not a valid number. Anyway, so you put the banking information, and then you got to retype it in, and the bank account information, retype it in, checking. Okay, the account holder is the insured. Okay, even though I am also the owner. Draft schedule, day of the month. Um, see the first of the month, to 225. All right, so save. Now, I can still save it, but it's going to show that it's not filled out correctly, okay? I think it'll still allow me to move forward. Uh, maybe it won't. Okay, well, let's just assume that, so I'm just going to click on agents. So this is the agent information. Does a proposed insured have any existing life insurance? Yes. Is the insured intended to replace? This is you, the agent, answering these questions for you that they don't intend to replace. This is my name, my agent number, 100%. I hereby affirm um, initial here to certify. So A O A. Any commission splits, you put that information here. Agent address, agent contact, hit save. Um, and it takes me back to the payment because it's not filled out correctly. Then replacement, am I gonna replace it? Are you considering discontinuing or making no? This is for the client. Are you considering using the funds from your existing policies? No. Enter applicant's initials. AOA. Save. Okay, take me back to the problem areas. Okay, but once everything's filled out correctly, then it'll give me an option to sign and submit, um, golly, I don't want to put any of that info in there. Okay, but trust me, there'll be, uh, I wish I could show you the page, but there'll be a page where you can, you click on signature 
and then you submit the app and it's done. All right. So I'd recommend you do it. The Forester's app is very similar to this. Like, I mean, it's right on the same info. Let me just show you how to get into it because that's important. Okay, so you could do the same thing. Carriers, Foresters. Begin electronic application. Now this is on the iGo app, so start a new case. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to show you how to get into it. It's different. Um, a lot of our carriers use this iGo application, 10, 26, 1960, gender, male. Where's protection? Ohio. Term life. Find available products. So now you can pick products, strong foundation, and it also gives you access to the Mutual of Omaha product line. Select strong foundation. Okay, so this is kind of the pre-qualifying area. I've read and agreed to the above. Yes. Next. Okay, so it's going to check you as a, a valid agent. So you want to make sure you're a valid agent, so you've got to go through it yourself. Okay, I'm, I'm, again, I'm not going through the whole thing. Uh, Social Security number. It's going to validate you, and when it validates you, then it allows you to continue forward. All right, so that is it. Um, electronic application, okay? Kind of slugging that out. <laughs> okay. So let's say you need to download the application. So let's talk about downloading the applications. You need paper applications. Let's say you hadn't ordered it yet. You can call the agent services and order applications. Okay, but you can also download them. You've got Dignified Choice Final Expense Applications and the Term and Final Expense Applications and Forms. So let's click on the SI Term. This is how you do it. Go to your state. Ohio. All right, there's a bunch of junk in here, man. You can download everything, but I don't recommend it because you don't need all of it. So in Ohio, you click on application. Okay, so application is downloading. So it's downloading application. Let's go through this one by one so you know what you don't need. Okay, you need the accelerated benefit rider disclosure. You definitely need that one. So download that. Application for policy change. No, you don't because you're going to write a new app on somebody, typically. Authorization to fax check. Um, you're going to scan these and send it directly to us, and we're going to scan them in. So you don't need that. Conversion. You don't need that. Conversion. You don't need that. EF disclosure documents. Okay, let me... When you do a CFG EAP, you need to have them sign this. Man, I'm so glad this showed up. You have to have them sign this EAP disclosure. So even though it's an electronic app, you have to get them to sign a form. And this is the only form you need. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, you do need this form. So, you know, I'm going to download it anyway. Fax cover sheet. Um, you're not going to fax it, but you need the fax cover sheet anyway because we're going to image it and send it in. So you're going to send it to us. You need the living benefits rider disclosure because it comes with living benefits that are free. So you need that. Download that. You don't need really need the needs analysis forms. Request for EFT premium paying plan. Um, that is already located in the application, so you don't need that. Reinstatement, no. Replacement form, anything that says replacement, always download and fill out. Even if they don't plan, some of your states require you to do this whether they plan to replace or not. So I just, a blanket statement, download anything that says replacement and have them sign it. 
Um, living benefit flyer, no. Consume brochure, no. Living benefit rider flyer, no. Conversion, no. Premium calculator, no. Safe shield rate book, nah, no. New business checklist, only if you need to make sure. Download that so you can check off that you've got everything for the application. Living benefit agent brochure, no. Fact sheet, no. Safe shield agent guide, no. I mean, yes for reference purposes only, but not for you to use on an application. EAP tracking or training, well, yeah, I would recommend that because you need to be trained on it. Um, Safe Shield supply order form, you can just call in and get all your supplies ordered. So I think that is, I think that is it. Okay, so, so you go to show folder, and notice all these have been downloaded. And then I would just print those out. And, um, um, and you're good to go. So those are, those are the ones you need to do um, a SIT form. Let's go to Forrester's, show you how Forrester's looks. This is Forrester's a little funky because you gotta go actually into their website. There is no fancy thing like that for Foresters, you have to go to the agent site and log in. So if you can't log in, you got you got to get with your upline to teach you how to get the username and password. Usually, um, and it's still thinking. Okay, so they use the iGo app for forms. So forms and brochures. What? Oh man, this is the um, I pipeline process. Uh, I'm going to show you through another carrier. The Forrester's process is very similar to this carrier. Okay, so Forrester's works exactly the same way because they use the same iPipeline engine. So this is Mutual of Omaha. So for, again, Forrester's works exactly the same way. So for Mutual of Omaha, for life insurance, it's United of Omaha. I know it's weird, but it is. Again, this is like Forrester's also. You pick new business for forms. You choose the state that you're in. See, I don't know why I'm into this pipeline, but I can't get into theirs. Product type, um, term, product name, term life express is the simplified issue. Paper, PDF form, search. Okay, this will be exactly like Forrester's. It'll tell you the basic, it'll highlight the basic forms that you need. Okay, so you want the application. You can download it here. Um, annuity replacement forms. So again, it's very similar. And then life app submission form. All the other stuff is extra stuff. Um, I like to download the buyer's guide because I like to email it to them. Okay. Um, you can look through it there. Now these are the supplemental forms. Forcers also have supplemental forms. So if they've got, you know, let's say for example, they like to um, rock or mountain climb, you'd have to fill this out. Um, if they do foreign travel, etc. So you, I want you to look through these, and you might need some of these. Um, drug, drug and alcohol usage, so on. Supplemental forms help you get your policy issued quick. So I'm a big fan of it. Um, underwriting guidelines, these are all the reference stuff for you to keep on your computer so you can reference. All right, now you can email these to you, but I like to just download and print them out. So that's... Forcers works exactly like this if you can get into it. Man, I apologize I couldn't get in, but I, at least I showed you because they use the iPipeline form system and you're going to kind of learn how the iPipeline thing works. Okay, so that is that. Um, guides. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take a break. Let's do five minutes. Um, okay, but I'm going to take about five, and then I'm going to get back rocking, okay? So, um, 